hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something kind of fun, at least I think is a good time, and you'll already know what we're gonna do because you saw the title of the video and you're like, I'm gonna click on this. Today I'm gonna be sharing my binder from 2019 to 2020. The way that this calendar works is it starts in July and ends in June and we are past June now, but actually when I'm filming this, we're still in June. I like to pre-film things, okay? Okay. But I wanted to show you all of my spreads and every page in here and how I used it. I know I'm not that great with the plan with me's. Plan with me's are coming back, by the way, and they might actually be back by the time that this video goes up again, pre-filming. So if they're back up or not if, when they're back up, I hope you guys watch them and I will leave a link in the in a card with all my plan with me's that I've ever done. I don't know if I've even done any plan with me's. Ah, you know what? I think I, I've done a, maybe a handful of plan with me's in this planner. Everything else I've just done on my own. So I am using an Erin Condren life planner in the hourly layout. I have links to Erin Condren down below. This is not the theme of this year. I actually have my other binder right over here. So the theme for this upcoming year, which is going to be when you see this, is layers. So I have a Franken planner, which I will leave another link for you guys. I feel like I'm just saying I'm going to link some stuff for you guys. <laughs> I'll leave a link again um, for the Franken planner that I made that I'm going to be using for this upcoming year. So they actually have three different themes this year. They have the layers colorful, the layers neutral, and they also have a theme called flower power, which if y'all know me, y'all know me, I, I ain't a flowery person for the most part. So I went with the colorful layers for my basic theme. So anyways, in this one, it was the colorful kaleidoscope um, was the theme for this year. And let's just start flipping and I'll start chatting and I don't know. This is gonna be a long video, so like get a snack, you know? So anyways, my 2019, 2020 outlook is just lots of things. So I track a few different things and um, in my new planner, I already did a setup video. That I have a couple of more things I'm tracking. So I track my cycle, my payday, and work holidays in here. I've seen lots of people use this for tracking bills or tracking schedules or if you have kids like school or no school or school holidays. I mean, all the different stuff. So anyway, that's what I used it for this year. In here, I use like a projects for my house, which I didn't get to a lot of them, but I did get to some of them. Um, and then uh, I did some budgets also. You guys, budgets are coming. Uh, the budgets actually are back by the time this video goes up, which is very exciting. I will tell you, here's the reason why I stopped doing budgets and I probably address it in the budget video because I haven't filmed it yet, but I will. My budgets are boring. Like that's just like flat out and simple. My budgets are hella boring because my money doesn't really change. I don't have a ton of really variable expenses. I don't have an income that really fluctuates too much. I don't have kids that are in sports or like, I, I don't have those variable expenses. So for me, it was so boring to film them because I'm like, who wants to watch this? Well, apparently you guys do. So. I'm filming budgets again. They're probably gonna be super consistent every single month and not have too much fluctuation. They'll have some, but not too much. Um, so those are gonna be going up monthly. So I hope you guys enjoy them and subscribe if you wanna see more. Okay, anyway, this is like th these pages. I never really figured out what I wanted to do with these pages. So you will see that later on, um, I do something a little bit different. So yeah, so this is kind of my, I don't know, month. And then, ta-da, get into the meat and potatoes of it all. Um, all right, so yeah, so this is the first decorative week. Got a lot of good things going on, uh, you know, more fun things. And all of this, like, washi, not all of it in the planner, but all the stuff that's, like, really, like, starry on the side, it's called the Stardust Pattern from Simply Gilded. They are linked down below. I will link, like, some of my favorite shops because I am not going to be able to tell you where all of these things are from because I just literally don't know. But the Stardust Pattern from Simply Gilded is, like, primo. It's, like, one of my favorite things on the universe. All right. And then we've got this week, which is fun. 
I don't know, they're all fun weeks to me. Sometimes, I, and I actually keep my planners. I am not a sentimental person, you guys, but I do keep my planners. I feel like a lot of times I keep them just for like memories of like what happened that day. Like, it's just kind of fun to know. Like my brother was over here and we like hung my mirrors in my dining room that day and we had dinner. Like, I know that because I remember it now, you know, I don't know. Anyway, okay, another budget. Now we're into August. And then we've got all this fun stuff. Ooh, my hail claim. Yay, my car is permanently dimpled with hail damage. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this is back in the day when we all still went to work too, so I don't know. And I kind of did this like rainbow week here. So I did, um, you know, all the different, I try to do different colors. And then we've got this week, kind of a, pink and green theme. Oh, and I actually, I went to a sports ball game. I went to a twins game that day. That was fun. Um, oh, and then I went to Niagara Falls. Oh, that's in this planner. Oh, fun. Doyle actually went to Ryan's apartment and spent all this time with him. By the way, Doyle had a great time over at Ryan's. And then we, my mom and I actually went on a road trip. So we drove to Niagara Falls. I had never been to New York State ever. And I don't know if my mom had been to New York State. I don't really remember. Um, but my mom really wanted to see Niagara Falls. Like that was what she wanted to do. And so we went and had a great time. And I mostly used these stickers from Wonton in a Million. And she had these really cool like road trip stickers. And I used quite a bit of those. So that's kind of the theme I ended up going with for this one. And then um, this was our last day, so we were driving home this day, and then I picked up Doyle, unpacked, and then I started a regular work week again. Um, oh, and then there was a wild collab sale in August. Ooh, are we doing it this August too? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, we did that, and off to the next page, which is another budget. And then we've got September, which again, never figured out how to use this. And then sometimes I use my monthly view, sometimes I didn't. I don't know. Um, all right, and then we are in August. I don't really have a big theme here. It's just kind of like, I don't know, yellow, blue, red, green, yellow. I, I don't know, just, just a bunch of stuff. All right, oh, and then we have, oh, this is, okay, so this is purple, but I went with, um, it was Celebrate PGW's five years of Planners Gone Wild, which is the Facebook group that started Wild for Planners, or did Wild for Planners start PGW? I don't really know. Anyway, they're the ones that do the Go Wild conference every year. I will stick my playlist up in a card for you guys if you want to take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, I did everything kind of like more in a purpley theme because that's kind of their color. So yeah, that's kind of fun. And then, oh, more purple. I was like, you know what? Let's have some more purple. That'll be fun. And then I was also tracking my Tums intake. And oh my gosh, I would love if I could go back to just that many Tums a night. Oh, I wish. I would be, I'm off the chart now. I'm more than five a night, which was really bad. Anyway, we don't need to talk about my health problems in this video. Um, you'll see enough of it actually right here. Um, there's actually a surgery I had to have right here. It's an endoscopy. It's not really, well, it, I guess it's a surgery if they put you under, right? I don't know. Um, they didn't do any cutting. It was just more of an exploratory situation. So anyway, my mom took me. I have a hiatal hernia. I still have it. I still have no resolution. It's really great. Um, don't recommend. Don't recommend. Oh, and this is a fun day. So it says frog friend. Um, so I woke up really early in the morning because Doyle, you know, wakes me up sometimes because he's got to pee in the middle of the night, kind of like humans, you know, we all got to pee in the middle of the night sometimes. And I woke up and it was super, super rainy outside and woke up, took the Doyle out, took the Doyle, took the Doyle outside to go to the bathroom and then came back in and I'm like, what is on the floor? Well, a frog was on my little threshold from like getting into my house and my front door um, that it just hopped right in. So I was like, oh, okay. So I had to like catch it and then like put it back outside. So that was kind of funny. So I put frog friend. <laughs> now you'll see I have, well, not now. You've seen this if you were like screenshotted anything, but I have like a migraine, a migraine. I have like massive chest pain here, which is like really fun. I've gone to the doctor several times for my chest pain problems, no fun. And the chest pain is uh, associated with all the hernia problems. So, yay. Ooh, another budget, look at that. 
All right, we got October and here, oh, what is this? Oh, this is just a thing. So October, we start to do some orange and this week I actually had my high school reunion this evening. I was one of the organizers of the high school reunion. It was really fun. It was so good to see everybody. I'm so appreciative that everybody that showed up and everyone that went there I think had a good time. So I didn't hear any negative things. So that's, that's a good thing. And then we've got this week. Um, oh, I was catching up on Shameless clearly. <laughs> And then, ooh, this is a pretty week. Oh, love all the sparkles. I love when my planner looks pretty like this. <laughs> and then this week, um, I didn't really do too much this week. Like, there are some weeks, you guys, where I just did not fill it in, you know. Um, this week is all filled in, looking cute. Happy Halloween. Um, this week is all filled in, which is nice. I was not feeling awesome. Um, this is when, hold on, I had my surgery this week. Yeah, so I had my, I worked in the morning and then I had my tubal this day and then I worked from home this day. Um, I was finally able to take a shower, so I was like, I gotta put that in my planner um, and all that good stuff. And my mom stayed with me. She came in from Florida. And then I think, I can't remember. I know I didn't work. I did work this day, but I worked from home. Um, I don't know if I came in or not. I just, I don't know. I know I was feeling real sore. I know I was just really, really feeling sore. I could hardly walk. <laughs> it was not great. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so this, this week is mostly filled in, except for the weekend. I just kind of was like, no, thank you. Um, and then we've got November 18th through the 24th. I always forget like what washi I have and this washi is so pretty. It's like candy, it looks so pretty. And then we're into the month of December. Dun, 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 dun. All right, this is Thanksgiving week. So I just worked the three days and then these are a holiday. Oh, and of course I had a migraine on Thanksgiving. Awesome, you'll notice, well, you've already noticed like I had one there. I had one right here too, yay. Um, the whole point of getting a, a tubal or getting my fallopian tubes removed is what actually happened, is it was supposed to help with my migraines. It has helped somewhat, but not all the way. Like I, I'm not migraine free, but I'll probably never be migraine free. So that's just, that's just what it is. So anyway, oh, back when we were working in the office. Oh, so exciting. Anyways, um, yeah, so uh, this was the day we actually went and had a holiday party at work, which was really fun. And then we went afterwards to a place called Psycho Susie's. So yay, that was really fun. That was super, super fun. And then the next week, I didn't really fill in at all. I like did all of this and then I was like, nope, not doing the rest of it. <laughs> Just really, sometimes I don't have anything to put in either, but I don't know. Um, kind of filled this out and then Friday I kind of stopped. No, that's okay. That's okay. You got to just make your planner work for you. You know what I mean? All right. So here is the week of the new year. So I kind of did like a black and gold kind of a theme, which totally worked for me. I had some blood work done. That's always exciting. Uh, this is my birthday week and I didn't really fill this out very well, but this is my birthday, January 9th. So put it in your planner for this year, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I did not fill this out very well at all. Oh well. This is Doyle's birthday week. Doyle is on the 19th. So he is, well, he's now currently 13 when I'm filming this video, but he'll be 14 next year. I have a teenager, guys. I have a teenager. I also went to the ER on Doyle's birthday. So not awesome. I was having chest pain. Ugh. Yes health stuff is a real pain, I'll tell you that. Um, all right, and so I did an all blue theme here. I have lots of like insurance, dentist, gastro appointments, normal appointments, tetanus shot. I have a therapist appointment, like I have like all these medical things in here. Ah. <laughs> all right, and there's when I stopped doing budgets because I was like, no thank you. Oh, and you'll notice that now these two pages, I can kind of rip them apart a little bit, don't matter, um, are, taken apart. So, uh, or not taken apart. I'm sorry. They, I glued them together. Cause I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with that other page, whatever. So then now I just have birthdays on here. That's kind of just what I used it for. 
Um, so yeah, here's the week of the Super Bowl. I put it in. Did I watch it? You guys know me. What do you think? Did I watch the Super Bowl? I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. And then this one. Ooh, there's lots of sports in this one, but I didn't go to the sports. I worked on projects for sports. So the Yankees and then the Mets. Oh my gosh. Was, those projects lasted a long time for me. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't really fill this in too much. And then I went uh, to the dentist that day. And then this one I didn't really fill out very well either, but I did go get my taxes done, which I am a tax person that likes to get stuff done at the very beginning of tax season. So like the beginning of February is when I like to go in. I know people like to wait. Um, I do typically get a refund um, or like kind of break even-ish, but I just wanna know. I just wanna know what it is. And then if I do owe money, like I don't have to pay until I need to pay, but still like i just i i like need to know i am just that person you know what i mean anyway um so here is the 17th through the 23rd um i had really good intentions of doing things and clearly uh none of it happened because this is kind of like i don't know my skeleton of what i normally do so oh well um and then we have march well this was pretty washy nice oh and this is the weekend i got sick i had a friend come over from work this night and then on saturday i was feeling fine and then sunday i was like god i have this weird tickle in my throat and then this is when the sickness starts so i got the flu and then i went to the doctor and he's like you have the flu i'm like awesome so i did work from home some of the times um, but basically I worked from home this entire week and then I mean because I just sounded horrible and I could not stop coughing It was just really bad. I also worked from home this week um, And I did take some time. I think I took some time right here Like I think I took a little bit of you know sick time or whatever So anyway on the 13th I was feeling like okay I can probably come in and not like you know die <laughs> and then um got a call from my boss saying hey by the way minnesota is closed so that's this week so now we are working from home since march 16th officially but i have been home since march 2nd because i had two extra weeks at home um and i didn't go anywhere the first two weeks because i was so sick um even this appointment was a virtual appointment that i had so i didn't really use my planner very well <laughs> after that I tried but I know for a lot of people it was really hard to kind of keep stuff going in your planner you know and clearly um go wild didn't happen uh I didn't use my planner this week at all here even though there is stuff written down again not happening I tried to kind of start to use it again here but mm, not not very well <laughs> Um, this is the week that Go Wild was supposed to happen. I decided that I wasn't going to go before COVID um, just because of all my health issues. I wanted to save my time because hopefully, still fingers crossed, I'm waiting to hear as of the moment of filming this, if my now third appeal will be approved to get the surgery that I need to fix the little hole in my body. Anyways, I don't know. So anyway, I was still gonna like play along with all the fun shenanigans of Go Wild, but um, that did not happen. Um, and now we're into May. And yeah, so I got I got kind of more motivated uh, later on down the line to get ready to go. And then, oh, this was Cinco de Mayo that happened on a Tuesday. So it was a Taco Tuesday, y'all. Oh, it was amazing. And I did go to Taco Bell on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> And then had a virtual call with some friends while we ate our tacos and talked. <laughs> it was great. So yeah, and then I've kind of finished it out here. This is kind of a pink and salmon-y theme here. And then we've got like my mom's birthday just happened not too long ago in May. And then let's see here. Here's June, which I'm currently in. Here's it. Oh, I love this week. It's like a little cute, cute little rainbow week. Love a, love a good rainbow week, you guys. And here is my Black Lives Matter spread, which is what I'm currently working on today. Today is actually the 14th, but again, pre-filming. 
and um, I will link this video for you guys as well. And then we've got my next week, and then this is the week after, which clearly haven't happened yet. So yeah. Here, we're gonna go back to this page because I absolutely love this week. It's so damn pretty. But anyway, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little look back at a flip of this past year in all of my spreads. If you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.